Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this three minute tip video, I'm gonna show you how I've installed SendGrid on hundreds of WordPress websites over the last few years. So the emails that get sent from your website are generally notifications of contact forms, like this one here that gets sent to you, the website owner. If you have an e-commerce site, it could be notifications of sales. It could also be like forgot password requests and different admin emails that get sent to the website owner or members of the website. So by default, it's gonna send out mail based on your server settings. So if you're on a shared server, for example, hosting with a few hundred other websites, maybe even thousands of websites, and they're all using the same IP address, over time there's gonna be spam issues and your IP is gonna get blocked or blacklisted to the point where your emails aren't getting through from your website to you or to your website users. So using an email service like SendGrid solves this problem and gets your email sent reliably. You do need an account with SendGrid and it is a paid service. I'm using it on a few hundred websites and it's costing me, I think I'm paying $20 a month for this plan here. You can go into your SendGrid account and monitor things. I really don't need to do that, but there's stats, there's activity. You can suppress certain emails. So you might wanna go through and look through there. But let me show you real quick how I set it up in WordPress. So in the past, I did use a SendGrid plugin, but they stopped developing that. It had some errors. So I stopped using that a few years ago and I've been using WP Mail SMTP, which is by WP Forms. So I'm gonna search for that in the add plugin screen. If you need to get there, it's plugins, add new, and then search for SendGrid or WP Mail, and you'll find this one here. You click install now and then activate. They have a little wizard here to set it up, but I usually go right back to the dashboard. And this is the setup screen here. So you could just tell it to send from a certain email. So a lot of times I would use WordPress at the domain name for this website. And then I, you could add a name, a from name as well. I usually don't force either of these, but that's an option. Here's all the mailing services that they use, so you could investigate these. But again, this video is talking about SendGrid. So I click SendGrid, and then I just need my API key from SendGrid. So to do that, it's under Settings, API Keys, and then you can create an API key on this screen. Like I have one called WordPress. That is for all my WordPress sites. So I've pasted in the API key. The sending domain is optional. I've been typically leaving that blank. I'm gonna save those settings. I usually do a quick email test, which is just gonna send email to my inbox or whatever email you want, just to make sure that it's working. So you can click send mail. And once you get that email test, you know it's working. And basically all your emails that are sent out through your WordPress site will now go through SendGrid. So hopefully that helps you get SendGrid set up on your WordPress sites. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and check out my next three minute tip video. I'll link to it here.